Hi, I'm Mike Stanton from Build America Mutual here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. It's July 30th, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Uh, Grant, uh, relatively uh, sedate week in the markets, but a couple of interesting headlines. Uh, we saw a, a disappointing but still very strong growth in uh, gross domestic product. What stood out to you during the week? What stood out was what you just touched on, which is, you know, we did take a bit of a breather from what's been a very impressive, you know, bond rally over the last few months. So, uh, uh, MMD, AAA MMD were essentially unchanged for the week. Uh, that the Treasury 10 year and the 30 year will probably end the week a little bit lower than where we started based on some strength this morning. But I think that, you know, the financial markets were focused on, um, on the Fed and the statement and Powell's remarks, and, and the market took it all pretty much in stride. The Treasuries dipped um, a little bit initially, uh, as did stocks. But but uh, that was all reversed uh, later on. So we've got um, the 10 year, uh, you know, has been little change for the week, just right around that 123 type level. So yeah, the statement acknowledged that, uh, that the FOMC is getting closer to tapering its bond buying program. The market's been watching that closely. I think um, Powell has, uh, you know, if anything, has uh, over communicated. Um, there's a concern that. Anything too abrupt um, could uh, could spook the market, which uh, the market feels unspookable <laughs> these days. But uh, and also, you know, with regard to the spread of the coronavirus, uh, the Delta variant, he expressed the view that um, that uh, that wave is probably not going to have as big uh, an economic impact as the previous waves, and so uh, he said that wouldn't have much impact on the timeline for tapering. Um, so that was uh, fairly benign. And, and um, I and also said, you know, which he's been continuing to say, which is the uh, Fed sees the current high inflation readings, and we have been seeing a pretty steady diet of above trend numbers there, uh, that, um, you know, they feel it's, it's transitory or kind of a shorter term thing. So um, it's, it's a, all a way of saying is the market still uh, is very comfortable with um, with the Fed's stance and, uh, and with the liquidity that is being uh, flooded into the market, uh, and and munis are are right in step with that. We've had 20 straight weeks of, of significant inflows, and that's really kind of given very broad support to the market. Uh, I will say that we're probably, uh, you know, given the relatively high valuations, there are deals uh, that do struggle uh, in the market. There are structures that, uh, you know, lower coupon structures that, uh, you know, continue to, uh, to struggle a little bit. So there is some kind of what I guess I call rate shock and, uh, and the market is, you know, there's plenty of cash on the sidelines, but I think investors are being a little bit more selective, so. And as you said, this week in the new issue market, the total calendar was a little bit lighter than we'd seen. It was back down uh, below $10 billion for the week. Uh, another strong week for BAM, though, $340 million plus of uh, transactions priced. And uh, interestingly, that was uh, from some success in the competitive market, as well as negotiated transactions. BAM's largest deal of the week was uh, the Suffolk County transaction, $85 million. In the competitive market, it was purchased by Jefferies, and BAM insured that. Um, on the negotiated side, uh, the Kentucky State University transaction that we were watching for a couple of weeks came to market at $50 million from key bank capital markets and La Mesa Spring Valley School District in San Diego County at $48 million. That was an RBC capital markets transaction. Um, what kind of feedback did you hear from investors on those uh, transactions? Yeah, I think, um, uh, you know, Suffolk uh, did well. As in La Mesa uh, was priced yesterday, the Kentucky State University deal got a lot of attention, saw a ton of interest. Uh, it was a deal where um, uh, BAM did a lot of work. We, we fielded some calls from investors uh, with questions and people got very comfortable with the credit. There was a little bit of, of uh, incremental yield on, on that deal because of the underlying ratings, uh, but that was a deal that was uh, heavily oversubscribed. They saw significant bumps and you know, very successful um, very successful transaction uh, for the issuer and the underwriter. And for people not familiar with Kentucky State, that's an HBCU in Frankfort, Kentucky. And one of the strengths BAM uh, noted there in our uh, presentations was the, uh, the strong alignment between the state uh, higher education uh, authorities as well as at the individual university. So that was something that was proved out quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. 
Um, looking ahead to next week, uh, the calendar is uh, again uh, well below $10 billion. Uh, one transaction standing out is the Whittier uh, pension obligation bonds from Whittier, California. I believe Stiefel's going to price that at about $144 million, and BAM will be insuring that transaction. Uh, anything else uh, you're looking forward to on the calendar? The, um... Yeah, it's it's interesting. We uh, these pension uh, deals that are you know they're um, relatively highly rated, but uh, we do have um, uh, several investors uh, that um, uh, that essentially look for the BAM insurance just as kind of a belt and suspender on those credits. So as you point out, that is uh, that is a highlight for next week, and uh, you know the calendar is dominated by the billion dollar uh, New York Transition Finance Authority uh, deal. So. That will kind of um, lead the way on what is uh, generally light week, I think. And of course, worth pointing out on the pension obligation bond deals is they are taxable. And so the uh, the buyer mix there is a little bit different. Uh, sometimes you'll have accounts that are not, uh, don't have longstanding uh, municipal credit uh, analysis capabilities in-house. So having the extra band protection uh, can help broaden the demand for those uh, transactions. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of international, several international investors are, are consistent buyers of those. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Grant. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 